and I have David and Leisha. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, do you use the internet yourself? I do, yeah. I use it the whole time. I use it for everything. I sped up this part here now because I couldn't understand what they were on about. But, what do you use the internet for now? I use it for Google things and use it for college and use it for everything. I get the news, everything's on the internet. Right, right, fair enough. And I'm just like, yeah, the same news, college stuff, memes. Right, right, right. And then... So, w w would you be awfully upset if it was gone? I wouldn't say I'd be awfully upset, no. I just, I, you get fed up with it now, every now and then you do get fed up. Ah, you do, don't you? No, you, get fed up you do, you do, you do. I'd be upset. I'd be upset. I'd be upset. Well, I'll tell you, if you take a look at my video about Facebook, it might change your mind. I've asked you first there, uh, David. Are you pro or against Brexit? As you can imagine, like 99.9% .9 of the population who have their heads properly screwed on, they were both against Brexit. You're, you're, you're well on board with myself because... The, the European Union, though it's a highly undemocratic uh, organisation, uh, it knows best and we should be doing whatever they say. Uh, personally, I'm for suspending um, democracy because there's no point in democracy. Sure, we, sure didn't we, we, we voted against Lisbon and then sure we had to spend all that money uh, voting again. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I think it's just a big waste of time. Suspend democracy. Bring in the EU, uh, occupy the country. I think you start the European army, uh, occupy Ireland with the European army, and sure get rid of democracy. And just bring in an old EU dictatorship. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'd, I'd be, I'd be, that. I'd be well on for it. I'd be well on for it. So what does he do? Get Merkel down walking down the streets and telling us what to do. That's better. We're better off that way. She knows what she's at. Her, her Merkel, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, Merkel, yeah, Merkel, yeah. For, <laughs> Merkel for the Oras. Exactly. Get, get the hair walking down the streets there. Absolutely, Bring her absolutely. Out. I mean, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. Now, would you be familiar with uh, John Claude Juncker yourself? Yeah, I know him. Yeah, yeah I know he is. Yeah. And, and, you, and you see, I, I, and yourself? No, okay. And uh, have you seen the um, <clears throat> interesting videos uh, that, that are up on YouTube depicting John Claude Juncker at, at various conferences and, and, and things like that? They're kind of interesting videos. He, he, he likes an old drink. I've heard he, yeah, I've heard he's fond of the drink, yeah. I heard he Hi. likes an old, uh, an old There are videos of him stumbling around like this in public. And um, virtually assaulting women in public on camera. Right, right. And he's president of the European Commission. Now, he's doing a fine job shutting down free speech. But I think he's not, personally, he's not acting fast enough. I think he needs to act faster and so does the European Commission. Shawnee McGrant is going for presidency of the EU Commission. I've only announced it today, so you're the, one of the first people to become aware of this uh, candidacy. So I, I'm looking for your support, um, uh, especially from lobbying uh, the likes of Phil Hogan. Phil Hogan is a great man. Shawnee McCrant looks up at Phil Hogan as one of the great politicians, speakers, thinkers, philosophers in Europe. What do you think of house prices? Are they too high? Yes. Yeah. It's just gone mental. It's gone mental altogether. What you have in Ireland now is you have empty houses, 62,000 empty houses around Ireland and a housing crisis. I've been informed by good sources that the, the reason there are empty houses is because of the international uh, banking system needs them empty because they're assets, they're not houses anymore really in the real sense, they're not places to live in, they're assets that need to be protected and therefore they need to be kept empty and uh, they mustn't be sold and other houses must not be built because it would crash the housing market. Um, so it's not a housing crisis, it's a housing strategy that's going on. Now, of course, Shawnee McGrant is all in favour of this housing strategy because one very simple reason is it gives power over 
to the government and the EU, and Shawnee McCrant is all for that, because simply it is easier. Uh, wh wh what kind of search engine do you use? Do you use Google yourself? I do, yeah, I Google things myself, yeah. I'd, I'd be a Google team member, yeah. Have you heard of o other search engines or anything like that? that, that I've heard of Bing. Yeah, there's Bing, Yahoo. But I said Google. I said Google, yeah. Google, Google, right, right. Some people talk about DuckDuckGo. Are you aware of Jim O'Darty had her, uh, her Google account suspended? Do you know Jim O'Darty at all? No, what not her now, no. Right, she, she's, a, she's a reporter that um, is saying things that the establishment don't really like. And um, Google, uh, for, you know, for their own reasons, uh, decided to shut down her uh, Google account. Now, she got it reinstated, but, of course, I mean, Jim O'Darty now would be somebody who would be for the old free speech and saying things out loud and, and speaking out truth. Now, I, you know, yeah, really truth true. is all, truth is all fine, but, you know, too much of it and gets us all into a big mess, basically. Now, but listen, uh, David and Alicia, thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. The Thank you very much. Check, check out the, the, the videos on uh, Junker. <laughs> He's a funny man. Ban the internet. .org. The, internet. the worldwide campaign to shut down the internet and bring an end to free speech. And subscribe to us on YouTube as well. I, I, I re very much appreciate it. Thank you very much Cheers. for stopping Thank by. I have Joe here. Can I ask you, where are you from yourself? Cork. Cork. And... Do you use the internet? No. No. You wouldn't mind at all if, if it was shut down? No. In terms of what you think of the internet or what you've heard of it, what would be your criticism of it? I think living with the internet in your life is like putting your head in a microwave oven and eating your food out of a saucer with a silver spoon every day of your life. That's poetic. What, what, what do you think about free speech yourself? Do, do, do you believe in free speech or, or, or otherwise? I believe you should be allowed to say whatever you want, no matter what, to whoever, whenever, because. Joe, what do you think of uh, Brexit yourself? Are you far against? Totally, for England should never have joined the EC, he shouldn't have been allowed to. Say, I Brexit now, would you be, would you be far against get Ireland getting out? Ireland didn't want to join the EC in the first place. I think uh, democracy should be suspended because it's an awful waste of money asking people their opinions and uh, getting votes. A Fianna Fáil president, a Fianna Fáil Taoiseach, a Fianna Fáil government and a Fianna Fáil population. Luca, if I could ask you, do, do you use the internet yourself? Of course, um, I use the internet every day for everything. Actually, I think it's really helpful. Do you think we should shut down democracy? Um, actually, no, I don't think so. The European Union actually have done uh, something bad. They uh, asked to close by Wikipedia. Do you know who John Claude Juncker is? I have no idea, actually. He's a man who likes, he likes a drink. And if you, if you look at him on YouTube now, uh, you will find him at very public occasions, very important occasions, stumbling around, stumbling around like that. And people trying to hold him up and everything. Right? The presidents of countries and prime ministers and people like that holding them up. You can find it on YouTube. I'm going for John Claude Juncker's job as president of the European Commission. John Claude Juncker is drinking too much and Shawnee McCrant thinks that he do a far better job. John Claude Juncker, I'm coming after your job and I'll I'll see you in the European Commission soon enough. The government is, has engineered the housing crisis. It's, it's, it's not a housing crisis, it's a housing policy. Good on the banks because they're locking people down and making sure that we're all working really hard and we don't have time to think, think about democracy or living our own lives because the most important thing is that the government has power and is gaining more power all the time. That's Shawnee McCrant's uh, philosophy, if you like. Um, Luca, thank you very much. Th all the way from, it from Italy. Fair play to him. 
and thank you for coming on um, Shani McCrant's channel. And I hope you'll visit and tell all your friends to visit ban the internet dot org the worldwide campaign to ban the internet and shut down free speech thank you very much from winthrop street in cork city in ireland